hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy uh, let's solve this uh, one another problem from distributed loads topic so again we are given this beam uh, which is subjected to the distributed load and the couple shown and it is said that if this couple m is slowly increased starting from zero at what value m o will contact at b change from the lower surface to the upper surface so here we are given this beam and here we have uh, two roller supports right and we are required to find the value of mo at which uh, this beam will lose the contact from the lower surface from the lower surface to the upper surface right so we have to find that particular uh, couple value so to solve this problem if we have to replace this uh, distributed load by its resultant concentrated load right so as we can see that this distributed load, uh, the areas associated with this distributed load can be divided into two sub areas and one area is triangular area and the other one is rectangular area. So let's say that the resultant which is associated with this triangular area is let's say R1, let's say this is, this is area 1, this triangular area is area 1, right? So the resultant associated with this area 1 is let's say R1. So I will write R1 and R1 will be equal to the area of this uh, triangle, right? This triangular pole distribution. So we can say that this will be half and the base of this triangle is 1 meter and the height is 4000 Newton per meter uh, distributive force in intensity, right? So I will multiply this with 4000 Newton per meter. So this will give us 2000 Newton resultant. Similarly, we have to find the position of this R1, the location of this R1 on this beam from that point A. And since we know that uh, the, this resultant R1 will pass through the centroid of this triangular area, right? So let's say that the centroid of this triangular area is located somewhere here, let's say. And let's say that we are measuring the location of the centroid from this particular point let's say that this is our origin right this point a is our origin and this is the x coordinate like this right so let's say that this is the centroid of this area one and let's say this is x one bar right and that resultant is passing through uh, this centroid let's say this is that centroid uh, r1 so we have to find this x one bar so the x1 bar will be the distance of the centroid of this triangular area. So as we know that uh, x1 bar in case of triangle, it will be equal to from, from this point to this point, it will be equal to two third of this length, right? So we have to write that this is two third into one, right? So this means that x1 is, x1 bar is two third meters and similarly we have to find the resultant associated with this rectangular area so let's say that that resultant is r2 so r2 will be equal to the area of this rectangle right so the area of this rectangle is 1 multiplied by 4000 right so 1 multiplied by 4000 so this gives us 4000 newtons and again we have to find the uh, this r2 location from that point a right so this r2 will pass through the centroid of this rectangular area and the centroid of the rectangular area is located at the geometric center of this particular rectangle right so let's say that uh, the centroid of this rectangular area is located somewhere here so then that r2 will pass through this centroid this is that r2 right and from here to here from here to here this distance will be 1 divided by 2 since it's a rectangle right so this will be 0 0.5 right so then if we if i represent that this is my x2 right if this is my x2 so then x2 will be equal to this 1 meters plus 0.5 right so i can write that uh, x2 the location of x2 from that point a from that pin support a equals to 1 
plus 0.5 so this is equal to 1.5 meters so we can say that x2 is equal to 1.5 meters right so now uh, we can draw the free body diagram for this particular beam right so let me draw that free body diagram and let me consider all the reaction forces right so now here at this point a we will have uh, two reactions let's say that one reaction is in the x direction this is ax and we will have one reaction which is acting in the positive y direction let's say this is ay and similarly we will have uh, when this beam is in contact with this roller support so uh, with this lower roller support so then we will have rb which will be acting vertically upward right so let's say this is rb So this is our free body diagram right and uh, this is x1 we know x1 which is 2 divided by 3 and this is x2 bar right so now in the problem it is said that uh, we need to determine the value m m o at which uh, the beam will lose contact at b right and the contact will change from the lower surface to the upper surface right so when the uh, when this beam will lose the contact at this roller support at this lower roller support so then at that particular instant this rb will be equal to 0 this beam will no more be in contact with this uh, lower roller support so at that particular point this rb will be equal to 0 right and here at that at this particular point we have that uh, m couple right so now if i apply the summation of moment about point a equals to 0 so as we can see that this couple is counter clockwise so we will write m and this r1 is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus r1 and the perpendicular distance of this r1 from that point a is x1 so i will multiply this with x1 which is 2 divided by 3 and r1 magnitude is 2000 so i will write 2000 into 2 divided by 3 similarly this r2 is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus r2 and r2 magnitude is 4000 newtons and the perpendicular distance of this r2 from that point a is x2 bar which is 1.5 meters so i will write this is 1.5 and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that uh, when when rb equals to 0 then that particular couple will be equal to mo so now this is mo right so we have to find this mo so we we can write that this mo will be equal to 2000 into 2 divided by 3 minus plus 4000 into 1.5 so when we solve this so that moment at which this beam will lose contact with the lower surface is equal to 7333 newton per meter a uh, newton meter right so i will write that this is mo 7333.33 newton meter so this is the solution of this particular problem